we doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. And today, we're going to talk about a game from the very beginning of the full U.S. rollout of the NES. This game is, was released in 1986 and was, like, one of the first, like, five third-party releases on the console. It came out a year before in 1985 on Famicom, though. On the Famicom, it was actually a tie-in for a manga from the 1960s that was getting an anime reboot called Obaki no Kutaro Wan Wan Panic, where, you know, it was a ghost and uh, the ghost was scared of dogs and, yeah, it was nobody in America knew what that was. So Bandai, the publishers of this game, got with the developer, Tose, and they, they they did what they do and came up with a reskin for the character. And that's what we have today. Today, we're going to take a quick look at Chubby Cherub. Now, Chubby Cherub was one of... There were three of these, like, character-driven action games released by Bandai in their initial rollout on the NES. There was Chubby Cherub, Ninja, Ninja Kid, and Muscle, which, uh, Muscle were those little figure, those little Mattel figures. It was, like, hundreds, thousands of them. Got rebooted in early 2000s as Ultimate Muscle. Ultimate Muscle was dope. If you can find the new game, check it out. Well, that later, that later game, check it out. That's not what we're talking about today, though. Um, Chubby Cherub is a hybrid platformer type deal where you play as this little, this little fat angel baby that's naked, like he ain't got no clothes on, and you have to avoid these dogs that can defeat you by touch or with their bark and but and so walking along the ground is the game playing like that is nigh impossible but flying makes it a lot easier and you keep your power meter up that keeps you able to fly by eating all the little food items that pop up on the game on the play field there are also lollipops. If you get the lollipops, you can fight back against the dogs and their barks and all that. The, um, you know, to, so you can make it to the end of the stages where you have to rescue a friend who has been kidnapped. Um, and this game, it, it has good ideas. The problem is, it came out right after Super Mario Brothers. So this wasn't gonna get no burn, nowhere. The Super Mario Brothers is such a phenomenal game that anything less than that plays similar just ain't gonna measure up. Um, but yeah, Chubby Cherub tried so hard. Tose made an effort um Tose though is notorious for was notorious back in the early days of the NES for developing all these pretty bad games but you know this was a better attempt at than some of their other stuff because it felt like there was there were good ideas here and not just something just being thrown at the wall like some of the stuff Micronix did Oh yeah, we had a lot of bad developers back in the day. But yeah, um, because Chubby Cherub is such an early title, a lot of people missed out on it. I didn't play Chubby Cherub until years later. Um, I mean, I didn't get an NES until when I got it. But you know, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, Chubby Cherub was... It was, it, if you had to pick between this and Mario and you pick this, I'm sorry. That, that's what I got. Now, if you 
are looking for physical of Chubby Churro. Uh, expect to pay at minimum 115 bucks. This game is because it's such an early third party release, it's rare. Um, and the quality of the game itself doesn't negate the fact that it is such an early title on the console. Um, and it's a very early third party game on the console that kind of kind of multiplies that rarity. So yeah, unless you're just really dead set on getting like a complete getting a full set or you're you are really nostalgic somehow for Chubby Cherub, figure out another way to play this because it's a lot of money for a game that while a piece of history ain't really that great. But this has been the 8-Bit Animal, and I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow. So this game is basically like Kung Fu. But if Kung Fu was a pot of soup, and they just put pukumu, uh potatoes and meat in it. Bet. <laughs>